Welcome to the channel and in this video we will see how we can take user input in Python programming language. So whenever we talk about taking user input, what we do is first we will display some message to the user which will contain the information about the type of input the program is expecting and after seeing that message the user will enter a value. We need to read that value and then we can store it in a variable for using it later. In Python programming language, in order to take the user input, a built-in function is available and it is called as input. This input function allows us to display a prompt or a message to the user and after looking at that message, whatever the user will enter in his keyboard, that value will be returned by this function as a string value. For example, here I can use this uh, input function without any parameters that is without any message. For example, I have written only input here and if I run this program here, the program is waiting for me to enter something in the keyboard. You know, I can enter anything. I'm going to enter my name and after that, if I hit the enter button, nothing happens. Program terminates. And here, since we are not displaying any message to the screen, you know, it has not displayed anything here, but it was waiting for us to enter some value. And once we entered that value, you know, we don't have any other statements in this program and the program terminates. So here, what I can do is I can specify the message. For example, I can say, enter your name. So this message will be displayed if, if I run this program now. Let's run this. Now you guys can see, enter your name and the program is waiting for me to enter a value. I will enter anil and after that I have to hit the enter button indicating that I'm done entering the value and after that this program terminates because we are not doing anything in this program other than taking the input. Now what we can do is we can directly print this value returned by this input function. To do that we can use the print function and we will provide the return value of this input function to print. So now if I save this program and if I run this, enter your name, I'm going to enter Anil and now you guys can see it will display Anil. So what happened here is the input functions return value is used by this print function and that has been displayed on the screen. So now what else we can do is we can store this return value in a variable for future use. For example, I can say name equal to input function and this particular message. So now the value will be stored in this name variable, which we can use later. For example, we can find the number of characters in the name or the length of the name entered by the user. So to do that, we can use the length function and we can pass in the name value and then we can print out the length using the print function just like this and now if i clear this thing and if i run this enter the name i'm going to enter anil and it displays four here that is the number of characters that i have entered for my name now till now in our program we have we are working with the string value now the thing is this input function returns whatever the user will enter as a string value. What if in our program we have to work with numbers? For example, I want to read the user's age value. So here I'm going to use the input function and I will say enter your age and we will store this return value in a variable and let's call it as age. Now, if we try to use this age variable, for example, let us say we want to find whether the user's age is above um, 20. So we can use the if conditional statement. So it will be age greater than or equal to 20. Then we will simply use a print function and we will say hello. Else we will use the print function and we will say blah, 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 you know just a simple program. Now what happens if I run this program? Enter your age. I will enter 33 and now this program will not work. So it says that uh, there is type error and uh, the greater than or equal to comparison that we have done here that is not supported between 
string type and integer type. So what happened here is when we perform this comparison operation, Python expects this to be between integer values or number types. But this input function is returning the value as a string value and we are comparing a string value and an integer value. So this is not supported here. So that's why we get this error. So what we can do in this case is if we want to work with numbers after taking the input from the user, we can convert the number that will be provided by the user, which will be returned by this input function as string type to the number type, you know, whether we want integer type or whether we want floating point type, you know, we can convert that. So here what we do is we will convert the value present in this age variable, which will be of type string to integer by using this int class. So here I can say age. Now this int class will return an object of type integers. So I can store that back in this age variable. So what we have done here is if the user is going to enter, let us say 33, then this input function returns that 33 as a string value. And since we want to work with numbers in here, we are converting the value which is present in this age variable as string type to integer type by using this int class. And then we are storing it again back in this age variable. So now if I run this program, enter the age, I'm going to say 25, it will say hello. The program works because when we perform this comparison, we are working between integer types. So it will be valid. Now, one last thing that we can see here, instead of, uh, you know, converting the value returned by this input function, um, you know, in a separate line, what we can do is we can do that in single line. For example, after taking the input from the user, we can directly convert that to integer type by providing it to the int class, just like this. Okay. Now, instead of writing it in two separate lines, we are, we are performing that in one particular line. So input function returns the user input as a string value that will be provided to this int class. And this int class will convert the number that is provided by the user in string form to integer form. And we are storing that back in this age variable. If I run this, Save and run. I'm going to say 15. This time it will say blah, blah, blah. And similarly, if you want to read a floating point number, then you can use float class in here instead of int. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to say something, then read that in the comment box. For more tutorials, do subscribe to the channel.